Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at the Keychron C1, a TKL offering from Keychron. It is a 80% keyboard and it comes in various different models. This one specifically is the Hot Swap No LED version. Yep, no LED. Now you got your standard instruction cards that come in a well-wrapped box, an instruction manual, a USB-C to USB-C cable with an A adapter, a switch puller and a keycap puller, as well as Windows extra keys, as the Mac keys are preloaded on the keyboard. As we can see, this particular one has a beige retro type style layout, which I kind of like. It comes in weighing at about 700 grams, and it also includes two pairs of feet providing for three angles of typing, three degrees, six degrees, and nine degrees. Again, as I said, this is a hot swappable version, and this one comes loaded with the browns. As you can see, there's an empty spot where the LED would go, but we do have five switch compatibility here. Now the stabilizers on this do come lightly lubricated and are actually fairly stable, though they could probably use a little bit of tape for more tightness. Here you see the USB-C connector that it's not too much in, so you have most cables should work with it as well as your dedicated Mac and the Windows switch. You also have your dedicated NumLock caps lock key lights. These keycaps come in at about 1.2 millimeters, which are a little bit thicker than most of your cheaper keycaps. Now, one of the reasons I would recommend this board over, say, a CIY X77 is the fact that you can load the Sonics branch of QMK on this keyboard, which I'll be making a video of shortly. But after taking a look, how about we now listen to what this keyboard sounds like out of the box?